Hey there, it's Heather Hakes. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic comes from actually one of you. I, somebody reached out and asked me specifically, Heather, how do you surrender? I'm tired of efforting. I'm tired of trying to make things happen. And, and I'm tired of chasing after what is my purpose? What is any of this for? So her main question was, how do I surrender? And it's a great question, and that's what I, I want to share with you today and what it means to me. To me, what it means to surrender, and a great book for you to check out is by Michael Singer, The Surrender Experiment. But surrendering is about a willingness. So I want you to write that down. It's a key word, a willingness to let go. It's a willingness, and it takes humility as well, but it takes this humility to step back and go, wow, maybe I don't know what's best for me. Maybe I, I don't know the easiest possible way to obtain the things I want, the money, the relationships, work, career, health, whatever it is. Maybe I am my biggest obstacle. And that's what I want you to know. The truth is all obstacles and challenges are self-imposed. And the reason I say that is because all obstacles and challenges stem from thought. And where does thought come from? It comes from you. It comes from up here in your head, in your analytical mind. And this is something I've talked about plenty before. Your, your conscious mind versus your subconscious mind. And that's part of the surrendering too. We're so busy. Think of... Have you ever seen the image of the iceberg, right? The tip of it is all we can see above water, but then this, the massive size of it is actually all below, below water where we can't see it, just like our subconscious mind. So when you're in this state of always going about in the uh, conscious mind, you're analytical, you're always stressed out, you're trying to make things happen, coming up with a strategy and a plan and take action and goals and blah, 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 all that shit that doesn't feel good. When you're coming from and living in a space of that top 5%, it's not sustainable. You're going to get exhausted. And just like where she's at, she's at a point that it's like, oh, I surrender. I wave the white flag. Like I'm willing to let go of all of this struggle in this, in the scarcity mindset and, and all the yuck. So that's what it comes down to, a willingness and humility that maybe you don't have all of the answers. And what that really is, is stepping out of your ego mind. And remember, as I've shared before, ego is edging God out. We, as a human experience, remember, you are a spiritual being in a human body, having a human experience with all of your five senses. That's what this earthly experience is all about. But you have to remember at your core, at your being, you are spirit having a human experience. So if at our core, the main part of us is this spiritual being, this infinite intelligence, God, universe, spirit, source, the divine. It's like, why would we not tap into that? And that's what it is to be living in ego. Remember that split mind, okay? So if you think of a circle and you cut it in half, when you're living in ego, that's that top 5%, your conscious mind, analytical, stress-driven, ego, action, action, action. However... There's a much better way. And by surrendering, by letting go of the need to control, by letting go of this constant human doing attitude and mentality, that is the point of surrender. That is when you can get out of this split mind of ego and you can step into your right mind, your holy mind, your higher power, spirit, the divine, when you surrender and let go of that ego mentality, that, that drive and want to take action, which is very much masculine energy. When you surrender the need and the habits and the patterns and behaviors of that, that's how you step into being guided. And that's, we all have an intuition, every single one of us. And this is your opportunity to tap into your intuition, to be guided, to live and flow in ease. And that's what I shared with her. You're going to know the difference when you're surrendering and letting go, because 
when it doesn't feel good, it's literally like you're in a boat and you're paddling upstream trying to make things happen. When in reality, if you want ease and flow, all you'd have to do is turn your body around, get the oars in the boat and head downstream. You will be carried downstream, but you've got to surrender. You've got to let go of the oars. You've got to let go of the need to struggle, to think that you have to prove and take action because you are worthy and whole just as you are. So if you are ready to let go of the struggle, if you are ready to surrender and be guided, all you have to do is ask. And I'm telling you, it happens. And that, that's where most people are missing. You're so stuck in this conscious, analytical mind, you forget to ask. You forget to ask for guidance and to be shown the way. And that's been my new mantra now for a couple of months. Show me the way. That was my personal way of surrendering. That was me letting go of the steering wheel of my life. That was me being willing to sit in the driver's seat and go, you know what? Drive me, guide me, show me. Show me the, the most direct point from A to B so I don't have to go on all these side streets and stop signs and red lights. You can get the direct path, but you have to ask and you have to be willing to let go of the struggle. So that's what I shared with her and I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited for her to realize that her only purpose in this human experience is to have joy and happiness. That is our only purpose. So it's like, what are you striving for? What are you trying to obtain and achieve? And what happens is you get stuck focusing on the external of your life. You get stuck focusing on achieving and goals and you want fame and fortune and you think you need to obtain all these trophies along the way and that's living in that ego mentality. The truth is when you get out of that need and this is about building your mindset muscle, this is going to be a huge paradigm shift for you and I've, I've talked about this before. A paradigm shift is your model of behavior, your thinking, your beliefs, your habits, your patterns. So if you want to go from where you currently are, this is about bridging that gap. If you want to go from where you are and step into this flow and ease and life happening for you effortlessly and the resources coming and, and the money and, and just things just showing up and you're just living in such a space of gratitude and excited anticipation and you're just in like this state of awe that, oh my gosh, this was, has been possible the entire time and all I had to do was let go. All you have to do is ask for guidance. And then, as I like to say, show me the way. So my question for you to end this lesson is all about, are you willing and are you ready to surrender your way of living? And are you willing and ready to step into being guided? The choice is totally up to you. I'll catch you on the next video.